Okay, I'm just going to make my own for the rice pudding. So what I have here is a large sauce pot over high heat. Let's start with two cups of water. I'm going to put the uncooked rice, it has one cup. I'm going to use the one for the long grain white rice. This has a lot of starches inside with the uncooked rice. We're going to cook this rice for first and we're going to bring it to a boil. And you can see the water just boils up. Then I turn it on high. I mentioned to switch it with a wooden spoon instead with the fork. So once it comes to the boil, then I keep stirring all the way around occasionally. Now you're going to lower the heat down. And we're going to cover slightly for 15 to 20 minutes. So while they're waiting the rice to cook, for meanwhile, I like to put a 3 4 cup of granulated sugar to mix with 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. And just stir these cornstarch and the sugar. The cornstarch can help the thickening agents instead of using flour. I also put one large egg, have that at room temperature, and I'm going to beat it over. Then I'm going to put in two and a half cups of milk. You can use whole milk, soy milk, skim milk, 1%, 2%, goat's milk, low fat, non fat, fat free, even reduced fat. You can use dairy free milk, and you have any kind of milk before that. I'm going to try the one with the low fat milk. And I just put the eggs in the milk. I'm just going to stir that around. And I'm just going to set this for a moment while I wait for the rice to cook. Right, just after 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to check the rice how they're looking for. I'm just going to flip it up with a fork. The rice is nice and tender. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. This is how it looks like. So once the rice just cooked tenderly, then I'm going to add the eggs and the milk combo right onto the rice. Of course, a fourth a teaspoon of kosher salt. And let's add with the sugar and cornstarch combo just to get to sweet enough. So let's turn this heat back up. I'm going to do about like medium high heat. So I'm going to keep stirring. I'm going to use it once again with a wooden spoon. Just want to get thick enough those. This has to be for the rice pudding. So I did turn it back on high instead of medium high. As you can see, this might be thick enough just to come to a boil. Can you see what I'm doing? Just might be almost thick enough when I keep stirring all the way. So once it comes to rise up, you can go ahead and just turn it down to about medium low heat. I'm just want to make sure to keep it nice and thickened. So I did turn off the heat after it might be thickened. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of unsalted butter while it's still hot. Going to melt that. Just keep stirring all the way, and you can see the butter just melted while it's still hot. So the butter just melted while it's still hot inside with those. After it just might be thickened, I'm going to put two teaspoons up here, but now extract this might be a good flavor. Okay, it keeps stirring. And you can smell these lovely bowl for rice pudding. 
Now you can add this, which is, might be a fun part. You can fold in these almonds, walnuts, pecans, even raisins. So for example, I'm going to try with one cup of sun-made natural California raisins. Or you can usually with golden raisins. But this is I'm going to be using for the dark raisins. So I'm going to fold it in. Making sure to keep stirring all the way around. Because I love to have raisins inside of the rice pudding. I like to try with one and a half cups of raisins. So I put one cup of the dark raisins or the sun-made natural California raisins. And I'm going to try with a half a cup of golden raisins. I like to have a both raisin flavor. You can try any dry fruits of those. Dry cranberries, dry cherries, dry apricots, even dry pineapples. And this might be almost just ready for it. Once after you finish folding all those dry fruits or nuts, which is completely optional. Now we're going to scoop those pudding right into the individual dessert cups. I like to sprinkle with a lovely ground cinnamon right on top. This might be for your presentations. And here's the finish rice pudding. Look how gorgeous it was. If you're interested for more recipes, write down in the comments below if you want to see something. Make sure to view always to watch four sharings. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video. Always remember to smash that like button. As always, I hope you guys enjoy for the rice pudding.